Hey there, YouTubers. Good morning. Um, I'm going to do uh, what's in bloom and bud and in um, spike this morning. It looks like a great day for that, so come join me. Um, we're going to start off in the pond area right here, then we're going to move to the outdoor shower, and then we're going to go indoors uh, where most of the blooming orchids are, right by the kitchen. And we shall get to that vanda in a minute. We're going to start off first with this epidendrum. It is, let me get the tag, it's epidendrum Pacific Artist Yellow Lip times Pacific Classic Huge times um, Epidendrum Pacific Prince. I got this from Carmela um, this past December and it's already blooming which is great and on the other side of the same basket uh, you remember that I potted three different epidendrums in the same basket on the other side is a yellow one blooming and here is the name it's uh, Epidendrum Pacific Amarillo times Epidendrum Pacific Challenge Big Mango times Pacific Fairland Princess. Boy, those Epidendrum crosses sure have long names, don't they? Um, I don't smell anything, by the way. I don't uh, detect any scent yet on either one. Uh, but they are very pretty, and uh, I can tell they're probably long-lasting. This one in sure is long-lasting. It's been blooming since, uh, I think, um, December and it is um, blue twinkle dendrobium blue twinkle now i did have this one in the kitchen for a long time and i decided to move it out for the sake of the orchid it needed air movement and regular watering this one is um, dendrobium royal genting and it's one of my favorite one for fragrances it's it has a honeysuckle smell to it and it is um, a very reliable bloomer, as well as a very easy bloomer. This next one um, has no ID, and it is a dendrobium um, spatulata uh, hybrid um, of some sort. All right, let's uh, get to this Vanda here. Um, it's been uh, blooming for me second time now um, in uh, since I've got it as a bag baby so uh, second year blooming and I love it here's the name so Vanda Fuchs Delight Blue times um, Dr. Anik the color of the flower is actually slightly darker than what you're seeing on camera this next one is a first time bloomer for me last year it did try to um, bloom but it aborted it had a bloom spike that was just a tiny little thing in in somehow not sure what happened um, but it it aborted anyway i've had this one since it was a tiny little baby um, from lowe's again and it was on a clearance i remember i got it like for three or four dollars it's one of those that um, got left over and no one wanted it it was in um, terrible shape really dehydrated um, but um, it was um, you know cheap so i went for it um, and I'm so glad I did because look at this bloom and I remember I didn't google it to see what the bloom was going to be like I just went for it um, and you're wondering what the name is okay let me pull find that tag for you so it's a Vanda Costalis uh, Tub Tim Siam and the variety or cultivar is Tavat This next one is a uh, Dendrobium phalaenopsis. It's uh, Dendrobium Dang, D-A-E-N-G. And um, it was uh, from Carmela about um, back in December. Um, this next one is a coconut orchid, as uh, most people know. It's a Maxillaria uh, tenifolia. Lots of um, buds everywhere. You can't really see it too well right now. Let me see if I can get in some close shots so you can see the buds there. Um, and I can't wait to smell the uh, fragrance of this one, of course. This next one is Cymbidium alifolium, and um, it's a small clump of my huge, big, giant one. When I was unpotting, I saw that there's lots of new uh, bloom um, buds on it, so I decided to pull it out and put it on a smaller pot and enjoy it on the table somewhere. 
This is a very sorry looking Jew orchid, unfortunately. I uh, haven't been taking good care of it. It's not at its prime. Here is a picture of when it was in its prime a few years ago when I really took care of it and kept it in the shade. This next one is den uh, Dendrobium aphylum or phylum and um, it is a second year bloomer for me. Um, I got it as a tiny kiki a long time ago and um, I'm super super excited about this one. Um, because last year I had one single EDB to bloom. I actually had um, like three or four bloom buds, but they all blast except for one. Now this next one, I'm even more excited on um, seeing the blooms. I've never bloomed it before, and this is the first time, and it's because it's never been old enough till now. And um, the name is uh, Dendrobium uh, Lodigesii, uh, or Lodigesii. You can do either one. Latin has, um, the G is hard G. Is, uh, you kind of have to do an eye spy in order to find the buds, but I'll see if I can point them out to you. I wonder how long will it be till it actually opens. Okay, let's go indoor to the kitchen. Um, all three of these phalaenopsis, the white ones, are from the same mother plant. And I did a video on this one where the um, orchid was in stress. Um, I think it was um, spider mites or um, aphids, I couldn't remember, um, that had killed the actual um, parent plant. And um, it gave me three kekis. And these three are all mini fowls again. Um, I think sometimes when we bloom it at home, it even looks better than when we first bought it at the grocery store. Because I remember the when I bought it at the grocery store, it didn't actually have this many blooms on it. I'm waiting for the uh, blooms to be done, and then I'm going to split this plant in two because there's a khaki sitting on top of the mother plant on this one. Um, and then on this one, uh, we have a bloom spike, so give it a couple of months. Um, and this one is a recent purchase from a grocery store in my area called HEB um, in Texas area. And uh, I've been looking for a yellow fowls and uh, finally got one. This next one is a miniature Oncidium and it's called um, Oncidium um, Saiku. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, uh, Marguerite. And um, it's got lots of pink little blooms um, on it. And it takes a long time to develop the buds. So it'll be in here a while. This is one of the uh, Latoria type. It is Dendrobium Royal Chip. I was actually looking for um, Dendrobium Micro Chip, which is really what I've been look really want. But instead I found this, so I went ahead and got it. It was from Lowe's. Okay, this last but not least is a Phalaenopsis. Um, and it's sitting on the shelf um, on the corner window here. And uh, I love looking at it at the spray of flower just draping down towards the sink. Um, and uh, basically that's all I got for you today. And I hope many of your orchids are also in bloom and in, you're enjoying them. Um, have a good day everyone. See you in the next video. Bye bye.